Hey guys, it's Jeffrey Gurian here for the Happiness Channel, and I'm so glad that you're joining me here. Today we're going to talk about a subject that's near and dear to me, and it's owning your sensitivity. And not only owning it, but owning it as a strength as opposed to a weakness. Uh, I was a very sensitive kid, and I don't know how many of you can relate to that, but I was such a sensitive kid, everything affected me. Uh, I could just think of something sad, like my grandmother living alone, and it would bring tears to my eyes. And I never really understood the level of my sensitivity. I'm sensitive to colors, to the weather, to, to the room that I'm in, to the people around me. I'm basically sensitive to everything, and what I learned in later years was that I'm an empath. So I feel what you feel. There was a time in my life when if I was with you and you were sad, I was sadder for you than you were. I overfelt my feelings. I'm like an antenna for feelings. And I had to learn that that sensitivity was not a weakness. Our society very often tells us that we're too sensitive. And they tell that especially to women. Women are gifted with a sensitivity that often feels like a burden. Uh, it feels like a weakness instead of a strength. And our society gives them the wrong message, which is one of the reasons why there are many more women patients than men who suffer with stress-related illness. Um, my sensitivity overwhelmed me as a child. And as I grew up, I had to learn how to deal with it. Uh, at a very young age, I decided I wanted to be a doctor. But I was concerned because I felt that I couldn't handle life and death situations. And so I decided that I would be an orthodontist. I wound up being a cosmetic dentist and then a professor at NYU in oral medicine and orofacial pain. Uh, because the worst thing that could happen is somebody's tooth would die, but it wouldn't be the whole person, and I figured I could certainly handle that. And uh, I had to learn through many uncomfortable experiences to learn to own my sensitivity and use it as a strength in my life. And that's a very important message for all you sensitivity sufferers out there. There are many of you out there who, who go through life feeling that you're more sensitive than you want to be. The truth is you can't change your basic nature. If that's who you are, you have to honor that. The idea is to censor your life and not allow people in who don't understand your level of sensitivity because sensitive people draw many people into their lives and very often they can try to manipulate you because of your sensitivity because people very often take kindness for weakness, which is absolutely the wrong message. So. For you sensitive sufferers out there, there's a, there's a great book, and it's called Are You Really Too Sensitive? And it's written by a woman named Marcy Calhoun. And if I could ever say that a book changed my life, it would be that book. And she breaks down the categories of sensitivity into what she calls ultra-sensitives. And I had the, uh, the pleasure of speaking with her. I found out that I'm every single category. And so if I can learn to own my sensitivity as a strength, and you can too, it just makes the world a kinder place. If people were more sensitive, they'd be less likely to bully each other, and the world would be a much nicer place to live in. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. A lot of this information you'll find in my book, Healing Your Heart by Changing Your Mind, A Spiritual and Humorous Approach to Achieving Happiness. It's become a bestseller on Amazon. I hope you'll check it out. It's available as an e-book, a paperback, and an audio book for those of you who just like to listen to your books. Anyway, this has been Jeffrey Gurian here for the Happiness Channel. And until next week, I hope everything makes you happy. See you then. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the Happiness Channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. If you want to see more of our videos, please click on the boxes on either side of me. And don't forget to like, comment, and most important of all, please subscribe. That's what helps us to do more videos. I hope to be doing one a week. And in the meantime, I wish you another week of happiness, and I hope to see you real soon. Thanks.